Hey, what's going on everybody? Jason here. This is part two. It's gonna be probably like the best one making the stand. Um, I got a bunch of wood and stuff. We're, we're gonna make the stand in this video, but before we do, let me show you what I did to the tank here real quick. All right, so here is the 33 long, and I went ahead and painted the bottom black. Um, I'm still not entirely sure whether I wanna make keep it a bare bottom or not. Um, but just in case I painted it black so I don't have to shove that towel underneath, which is kind of a pain in the ass. I also painted the back a metal flake red. Now right now it looks pretty cool. It's kind of hard to see. There's a pretty good picture of it. Uh, I don't see too many tanks that have a background of red. I've only seen two or three videos on YouTube. All, on all of YouTube, there's only two or three videos with people having a red background. And I just wanted something different, and I thought it would make Rolo stand out a lot because he's blue. Um, however, the first time I painted this, it came out really horrible. Um, I used, I got some of this uh, metal flake red, which I thought it was, but it was shimmer. And basically what it was was clear paint with flakes in it. So the whole back was basically transparent. I went over it with some red paint, and it just, it didn't look right. It looks like crap. So I had to scrape the entire back off of it. I had to scrape all the paint off the back and it actually only took like five minutes because the paint wasn't fully cured. It was still kind of like flexible. So it came off really easy. And then I went to AutoZone and I used this. Yeah, sorry, it's not coming in very clear here. It's Duplicolor Metal Specs Heavy Metallic Finish. This is what the tank's really gonna look like. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell right now because I don't have the light on it. I guess I could go get the light and plug it in, but uh, the red background is going to look pretty cool. Right now it looks like a dark maroon. I think it's going to really lighten up once the water's in there and uh, and the light's on. But uh, So the tank's ready to go. Now, I got a whole bunch of wood here to make a stand. I got my miter saw. I went ahead and got two by sixes because they were the same price and these were a lot straighter. Sifting through all the two by fours at Home Depot or Lowe's, it's impossible to find a straight piece of wood. These were much straighter than any of the two by fours, so I got two by sixes. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do this yet because I'm still pondering it. I've been standing in the garage for like an hour trying to figure this out because I don't wanna do this the standard way. There's another way that I wanna do this and I'm not exactly sure if it's gonna work or not. So I'm still trying to figure it out. But uh, once I do, then we'll get started and get building this. All right, everybody, here is the top of the tank. The tank is gonna sit on top of this. We got another one made. There's the bottom out there. Might as well do some cuts out here. So basically what I did was I made 45 degree angle cuts so I'll screw them in. I don't know, either that way or from that. Uh, most of the time people make these stands, they just make right angle cuts like that. But I wanted it to look a little bit nicer. So I did the 45 degree angle cuts. And uh, yeah, and then we'll just do the standard uh, feet, I guess. And this will be the top the tank sits on. And that'll be the bottom. And I just got to measure the rest of this measure the rest of these out correctly so that the entire stand is only 28 inches tall because with the stand and the tank height combined i don't want it to be i want it to be about the same level as that divider wall dividing my living room and my kitchen and then the next video i'll do a, a, t a light hanger that we're going to screw onto the back of the stand Okay, everybody, all the wood is cut to make the stand. Um, once I was done, I used some sandpaper, just some hand sandpaper here, and went over to sand off all the burrs and whatnot. But so here's gonna be the top squared part. This is the bottom. These are the braces that are gonna go all the way up and down, and these will be between the top and bottom. And uh, I'll show this a little bit as I go along. And I think I lied, I think I'll go ahead and I'll make the light hanger in this video. Really no need to make a whole separate video for that, because it'll be part of the stand. The other issue I'm running into is wear. 
I'm actually gonna start putting this together because nothing, it may, it may look like it, but nothing around here has a flat surface. This is bowed. My whole garage is bowed. The carport is bowed. Uh, I need a pretty flat surface to do this, so I gotta figure out where I gotta do this. Okay, here is a mock-up of it. Excuse me if I'm out of breath. Really, really winded. I've been out here for many hours. Cutting, screwing. So the bottom, the bottom square piece and the top are all screwed together. You can see screws on there. Everything else is just kind of, if I push it, the whole thing's gonna fall over. Just kind of give you an idea of what it's gonna look like. So these here are actually what's gonna brace the tank and all the stands. These are gonna be screwed on the inside to hold these there. Simple design, a lot of people use. I made them a little bit shorter. Uh, there's no reason to go all the way to the top. I guess I could have made them a little bit higher to make sure the tank didn't slide off, but yeah, whatever. Okay, I got a screw all these together and I got one big old piece left over some excess out there but okay after this is all done then we're gonna make the tank or I'm sorry the light hanger on the back but yeah this stands gonna be pretty much indestructible this thing could hold a hundred gallons it's so beefy all right there is the stand it's just about done uh, the only thing left I need to do is put in a cross brace on the bottom and then one on the top that's not there. I don't I don't really know if I really need it, but yeah, I'll probably put one in the top and bottom. But that's it. Uh, coming out pretty good. This freaking stand is beefy. I mean, it's just so overkill. There's no need for this much uh, brace, but like I said, the two by sixes were, were straighter than the regular two by fours with the red in the tank. This is gonna look pretty cool. I don't know if I have enough screws to finish everything because I still gotta make the, the light hanger, but uh, we'll see. So I gotta screw in those cross braces. I gotta clean it up, uh, sand off some edges and stuff. And then we'll make the, the light hanger. All right, I went ahead and screwed in the cross braces. There's one there, and I got one underneath. Sorry, I won't focus. But, so there's one, the screws there. So we've got cross braces. So this stand is pretty much done. I just gotta clean up some stuff like this little overhang here of the bevel. I'll probably just scrape some of that with my knife, just blend it a little bit more. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fab a light hanger. Where's my 2x4? Okay. So what we're going to do, and here's the back of the tank. So I'm going to screw in this 2x4. I'm going to cut it and then it's going to go over and it's going to hold the light over the tank and I think I'm gonna put a hinge on it so I can flip it back. We'll see how much of this I can do. I gotta be careful. I, I kind of gotta leave the tank on here so I can figure out the height of it. Alrighty, there we go. It is done. I will give you a quick overview here. I've got the light floating, floating light stand over here. Uh, so I've got a 2x4 just screwed into the back. It comes up here. I've got a door hinge with another 2x4. And then there's this thin piece of plywood. All I did was reverse the feet on the light. And the plywood slips underneath. Had a sanded groove in them. So those will fit. 
And the plywood bows a little bit. I think it's only like 5 eighths thick, but I'm not too worried about it. I mean, it, it holds. And the cool thing about this, I got the lids on there, so if you want to maintenance it, you can just lift it up. And this is gonna be right by the wall, so you can flip this all the way around, and boom. And then you can uh, gravel vac, do whatever you need to do. And then when you're done, just flip it back over. And there we go. And it seems to be pretty sturdy. I wish I had a few more screws I could put in the back. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's, I mean, that's, that's solid. That's not going anywhere. There's three screws in each hinge. Um, so when this is set up, I'll probably just have this cord laying over to go down. Doesn't look too bad just laying there. All right, shut the garage and turned off one of the halogen lights. Trying to mimic this like the living room and see how bright this is. It seems to be pretty good. Looks really bright on camera. It's a little bit dimmer than that in real life, but yeah, it's not bad. That, uh, I think that'll be cool. I think that'll be fine. I guess I could have made it lower, but I don't think that would've made that big of a difference. Blue light. Yeah, I think that'll work. I gotta focus it a little bit, sorry. Kinda hard to tell until it's in the living room. I wonder if I should lower that whole light a couple of inches. I could do it. Really all I would have to do, just cut off about two inches there and lower the whole thing. But you get too low and then this light is gonna hit the, the black plastic hinge and it may cause a, a shadow in there, which you could already be doing actually. Kind of hard to tell without the water and the substrate and all that. What a monstrosity. So there is one issue. So when the tank rests on this, uh, you can slide a piece of paper almost all the way under the front and the back here, but the tank sits nicely on these small side areas. So I may have to sand these down a little bit by hand. I don't have an electric sander right now, which sucks, but I need to sand these two down and bring the tank down just like a hair and then it should rest everywhere. Or I just might put some weather stripping. But this is Friday night, 4th of July is tomorrow and I think everything is closed. And I really don't wanna to go to the store right now. So I might just try to sand it down because I wanna paint this tomorrow. I want this set up by Sunday. All right guys, thanks for watching. Uh, this is part two. Uh, we built the stand and the folding light holder. Uh, next video, we are gonna paint this and set it up. Uh, I would like to have this all set up on Sunday, so I'm gonna paint this, paint the stand and everything tomorrow. And then um, I don't know if it'll be dry enough to set up tomorrow night, but I probably won't because it'll be a big ordeal tearing down the 40 gallon also. So I'll probably do the paint tomorrow and then do the whole set up, set up on Sunday. But uh, yeah, pretty stoked about it, it's pretty cool. All right, thanks for watching guys. You guys take care out there.